takeoff, landing, waypoints, waypoints with action. that comes with me. So, I'm just gonna so this is the exploration phase. The aircraft is using those navigation cameras to understand, sense, and avoid, but also build out this model uh, coverage. So it's building out a wire mesh network of the area. That's network that was just a brand new. Grab this orange layer, just drag it down below the ground. But it's you know good news, no major issues found and at Texar and Trinella. I am the DEDX program manager here at Scott Air Force Base. Uh, the main goal for the Scott SUES Summit is for different Air Force bases who have SUES programs to come here and mingle with the civilian SUES vendors and pretty much get to know each other, figure out what mission sets uh, and what capabilities of the drones match each other and uh, get everybody on the same page essentially when it comes to how SUES programs should be ran. Um, and how to set up and what's right, what's wrong kind of thing. Kind of make sure everyone's networking and meeting each other, create a, a little Suez family. Hello, my name is Sergeant Jared Williams. I'm at a Fairchild Air Force Base, 92nd Security Forces Squadron. I am the uh, program manager for Counter Suez. Uh, my biggest takeaway is just that drones really are the future of the Air Force and the direction uh, that the Air Force is going um, is very positive when it comes to uh, Suez and Counter Suez. Um, I think this is a really positive change and there's a lot of great aspects to it, not just from a base defense standpoint, but from a maintenance standpoint, from um, a civil engineering standpoint. Uh, realistically, I think the sky's the limit when it comes to this kind of technology. I'm Tech Sergeant ha Matthew Halligan from the 99th Security Forces Squadron out of Nellis Air Force Base, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, I am the Physical Security NCOIC in the uh, S5 section. Uh, one of my biggest takeaways from this summit is all the blue Suez systems that we've seen today, um, how many are actually out there and what they do. Uh, another huge takeaway is the extensive process and procedure it takes to get a blue Suez program for a unit. Uh, a lot of red tape you have to go through. Technical Sergeant Xavier Alvarez from Joint Base Charleston, 628 Security Forces Squadron. I'm the Counter Suez Program Manager, Electronic Security Systems Program Manager, and I'll be the Suez Program Manager once it gets stood up. What I'm hoping to learn from this summit is to have a more generalized idea of what the standard and way forward is for security forces, as well as other agencies and how they're utilizing SUAS to exploit the full potential of reducing uh, whether it's falls or accidents and any other safety mishaps that could occur. My biggest takeaway so far at the summit has been understanding how every single AFSC plays a role in how the SUAS mission can be completed and just the different use cases and different applications that it serves both in, in uh, country and also in deployed environments and how it can be a force multiplier as well as how it can become a game changer in how we do day-to-day -day business. My name is Captain Matthew Brock Bolton. I am the uh, Detachment X Chief Program Manager for Small UAS here at Scott Air Force Base. The summit from our civilian counterparts, we're looking to hear about what exactly it is that they're doing differently and what they are doing that we haven't thought of and what we're doing that they haven't thought of. So we're looking to share the good, the bad, the ugly, what, uh, how we can better partner going forward and what we can do differently between the two of us. Uh, a lot of the civilians are doing things that we haven't quite thought of, so they're using 
drones uh, closer to the operator. The military, from what I've seen, primarily uses drones to reach out and touch something and re reach out and see something, reach out and measure something. And it, from what I'm seeing here today, the civilians are, what's on the other side of this fence? Uh, what's 10 feet in front of me? How can I uh, check this room for an active shooter uh, 15 feet in front of me? And so we're, we're learning a lot about, uh, or what I learned a lot about today is how they're using drones um, just from me to the camera. The Scott Air Force Base U.S. Summit has been an opportunity for us to facilitate multifaceted education. That's what I've said from the beginning, and that's what we're doing literally here today and tomorrow. We are teaching and we're learning. Um, that's the most fun I've ever had, is teaching and learning. Uh, I'm, I'm getting to talk to people about how DEADX is operated, uh, both from a programmatic standpoint, a little bit about how we do our technology, and I'm learning so much about how others are utilizing technology to uh, further their uh, AFSCs, further their organizations, further their missions. Um, so that's a lot of what we're learning and that's kind of our, our kind of buzzword is multifaceted education.